Hello, welcome to Behavior Breaks by the Arkansas Behavior Support Specialist. My name is Julie Butterworth. Today, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite tools for teaching students with executive functioning deficits to read the room. Teaching students to read the room targets building social and situational awareness for students kindergarten through sixth grade. Think of this as teaching students to read between the lines. Whether entering a house, classroom, meeting, or party, we have to enter situations by acting in a way that's like the behavior of the group. Students will begin to take note of the group's behavior so that they can smoothly merge with the group as they enter. Whether we are around other people, whether it be with friends, in a room with others, out in public where there are other people around us, we need to constantly think about those other people what they are doing, and how they are feeling. This is called reading the room. This is such an important executive functioning skill and tool, and it helps us decide what actions we need to do in a social situation. It also helps us make sure that our actions are okay and appropriate for the situation. If we do not read the room correctly and do actions that are not expected, this could cause others to have negative thoughts about us. Let me introduce you to my friend John. John typically enters a room very loudly, slamming books, huffing loudly, shuffling around his seat and desk. He has this behavior while being completely oblivious to the eye rolls from peers and the annoyed looks on his teacher's faces. You may have met John. He's not the best liked student or friend at school. What can we do to help? Let's review the steps to teach someone like John to read the room. First, you want to stop the student at the door to the classroom. Before John enters, the teacher has him pause at the door. Maybe she just has polite greetings. Good morning, John. Hey, let's talk a minute. Now we cue the student to actually read the room. The teacher asks John to read the room with her. Is the classroom noisy? Is everyone reading silently? Are students quietly visiting? What is the room doing? We're teaching the students to scan and observe what is happening in the classroom. As the teacher is having John read the room, she asks him, what is the room doing? What's going on in here? She may cue him to the important details of the class if needed. Don't forget reinforcement. Specifically praise the student for scanning and adjusting accordingly. Encourage the student to match the behaviors they are observing as they enter the classroom. Don't forget the praise. Provide opportunities to practice reading the room. When the student starts to become successful in reading the room, start to fade the cues. Now when they enter the room, you would just say, read the room. This teaches the student to scan the room independently. Remember, this is a skill that can be taught to the entire class rather than just one to two students. Teach the whole class how to scan and observe what is happening in a room. Thank you for joining us for this behavior break by the Arkansas Behavior Support Specialist. Follow us on social media and be sure to sign up for our newsletter.